Test 5. Listening Test. In the listening test, you will be asked to demonstrate how well you understand spoken English. The entire listening test will last approximately 45 minutes. There are four parts, and directions are given for each part. You must mark your answers on the separate answer sheet. Do not write your answers in your test book. Part 1. Directions. For each question in this part, you will hear four statements about a picture in your test book. When you hear the statements, you must select the one statement that best describes what you see in the picture. Then, find the number of the question on your answer sheet and mark your answer. The statements will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Look at the example item below. Now, listen to the four statements. A. A woman is carrying a briefcase. B. A woman is jogging in the alleyway. C. A woman is talking on the phone. D. A woman is putting on a jacket. Statement A. A woman is carrying a briefcase is the best description of the picture, so you should select answer A and mark it on your answer sheet. Now, part one will begin. Number one. Look at the picture marked number one in your test book. A. A woman is putting on a pair of glasses. B. A woman is holding a water bottle. C. A woman is reading a magazine. D. A woman is writing on a notepad. Number two. Look at the picture marked number two in your test book. A. They're talking in a reception area. B. They're unloading bags from a cart. C. They're watching a performance. D. They're waiting in a line. Go on to the next page. Number three. Look at the picture marked number three in your test book. A. A woman is reading a publication in the library. B. A woman is checking out a book at the circulation desk. C. A woman is carrying books between some bookshelves. D. A woman is pushing a book cart along the aisle. Number four. Look at the picture marked number four in your test book. A. An aisle divides the seating area. B. The presenter is facing the screen. C. An audience has gathered at the entrance. D. All seats are occupied by diners. Number five. Look at the picture marked number five in your test book. A. A pedestrian is waiting for the traffic signal. B. Some vehicles are parked along a street. C. People are walking across the road. D. There are cars driving opposite directions. Number 6. Look at the picture marked number 6 in your test book. A. A bridge is being repaired. B. Vehicles are passing over a bridge. C. A boat is floating to the pier. D. Some branches are hanging over the water. Go on to the next page. Part 2. Directions. You will hear a question or statement and three responses spoken in English. They will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Select the best response to the question or statement and mark the letter A, B, or C on your answer sheet. Now, let us begin with question number seven. Number seven. Miss Lee sent the revised draft over, didn't she? A. A few more revisions. B. Not yet. I'll get it from her. C. They will come tomorrow. Number eight. Are these graphs and charts fit for a single page? 
A. I need it to be duplicated. B. You can use this fitting room. C. Well, we have to edit the paper margin. Number 9. When will Mr. Carey arrive at the airport? A. He will arrive from gate 16B. B. Let's give him a call before he boards the flight. C. By taking an airport shuttle bus. Number 10. Which of us is on duty tonight? A. Tomorrow at 10 o'clock. B. We should check the shift schedule. C. They will not be able to make it. Number 11. This evening's guest speaker hasn't come yet, has he? A. No, but he's on his way here. B. Not as many as we expected. C. The speech was more than two hours long. Number 12. How long did it take you to commute to the office on foot? A. I drove today. B. He is the communication manager. C. My shoe size is 6.5. Number 13. Doesn't the grocery store accept personal checks? A. Maybe you should check your account first. B. No, only cash and credit cards. C. Yes, the store has many checkout counters. Number 14. What's the size of the cabinet in the back of the office? A. I'll go and measure it right away. B. No, I don't think I'll need another one. C. I moved them to the back. Number 15. Could you tell me where the marketing director's office is? A. On every Monday from 10 till noon. B. Have you told me that before? C. I'm afraid it was moved to Jefferson Building. Number 16. Where is the staff organizational chart for our department? A. I'll have Mr. Johnson send it to you. B. It shows all the positions in detail. C. I'm impressed with the work you did. Number 17. Do you have time to help me write up a new proposal or should I look for someone else? A. Someone's coming here to pick us up. B. I don't think I received your proposal last night. C. Well, I'll be available after three if that's okay. Number 18. Why did the design department email me this file? A. Did you open the attachment? B. I just checked my email. C. I prefer your design. Number 19. Where can I find the wheelchair access to this building? A. Please use the wheelchair over there. B. Here, I have another access card. C. Just follow the signs. Number 20. I'm here for my two o'clock dental appointment. A. You should confirm your next appointment. B. We'll be with you shortly. C. Okay, please leave a message. Number 21. Shall we look at another apartment or do you want to take more time here? A. Take it apart first. B. Let me show you something you'd like. C. I think I've seen enough. Number 22. Can I help you sort the sales data? A. 
It is already listed in alphabetical order. B. The report is on your desk. C. Save them on the new computer. Number 23. I'm going to be in Buenos Aires for my summer vacation. A. The travel expenses were reimbursed by the company. B. This will be the second time, right? C. That's a long time away from home. Number 24. Are you bringing your own lunch or should I order something for you? A. He came up with some ideas. B. I'd like a turkey sandwich with mustard sauce. C. You can make your own lunch. Number 25. I can help organize the client files on your desk around 5 p.m. A. Sure, I can take a look at your files if you want. B. Yes, make sure your desk is nice and tidy. C. Thanks, but I think I can manage it. Number 26. Could you reserve the conference room for this Tuesday's meeting? A. Sorry, he's not available. B. Sure, when do you need it? C. It should be large enough for a meeting. Number 27. Didn't we already send the invitations to our guests? A. Yes, we need to send them today. B. I'll do it first thing in the morning. C. No, only a few guests showed up. Number 28. We'd like to hire a professional technician for the new venture. A. I have someone in mind who you'd like. B. It's made with advanced technology. C. Send your resume by tomorrow. Number 29. Can I check my balance on this ATM without my bank card? A. At the check-in counter. B. I don't think so. You'd better talk to a bank teller. C. That's what I'm planning. Number 30. Should I wait for you at the parking lot or at the main entrance? A. Sure, this is reserved only for the employees. B. Actually, could you come to my office? C. I'm thinking of getting off at 5 p.m. Number 31. Won't your department allow you to work from home starting next month? A. I'll show you what I've done so far. B. Right, I just need to come to the office once a week. C. Yes, we are in the process of hiring new staff. Part 3. Directions. You will hear some conversations between two or more people. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each conversation. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The conversations will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 32 through 34 refer to the following conversation. Good afternoon. Thank you for calling the Uptown Skin Clinic. How can I be of service? Hello, this is Kevin Brooks calling. Is Dr. Cobb available? I had an appointment with him last week and I just have a quick question for him about my prescription. Actually, he was just called into an urgent meeting at the hospital, so he is not here at the moment. Would you like to speak to another doctor on duty? Well, I don't think that's necessary. Maybe you can answer my question. Dr. Cobb wrote me a prescription, but the pharmacy doesn't carry the prescribed medication. Do you think I need another prescription? Number 32. Who most likely is the man? Number 33. Why is Dr. Cobb unavailable?
Number 34. What problem does the man mention? Questions 35 through 37 refer to the following conversation. Hi, Monica. Did you receive an invitation to the corporate banquet? I haven't heard anything yet. I was wondering if it was just me. I didn't get one either. I heard the entire marketing department is busy creating a new promotional video for next month. Maybe that's why they haven't sent out the invitation letters yet. I don't think so. They are always busy, but this has never happened before. They have always kept us up to date. Now the banquet is just around the corner and nobody knows what's going on. I think I'll write an email to my supervisor and ask about it. I think that's a good idea. Let me know when you get a reply. Number 35. What are the speakers discussing? Number 36. According to the woman, what is the marketing department busy doing? Number 37. What does the man say he will do? Questions 38 through 40 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. Hello, Lisa and Cameron. I know both of you are taking inventory of returned products and categorizing them. Can I have an update on it? Cameron and I finished sorting the returned items by the names of the products. We are going to figure out why they were returned and check their status. Right. We need to screen out the ones that customers returned because they simply changed their mind or bought the wrong product. If the package is in its original status, we can just restock it for sale. If the package has been opened and there is some hint of use of the product, we have to send it to the refurbishing center. But it seems like we need more time than we planned. That's all right. I think this should be done by this weekend so we can reorganize our store for the winter holiday season. I think this work requires more staff members to be done. That would be great. Number 38. Where most likely do the speakers work? Number 39. What have the women been working on? Number 40. What does the man suggest? Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation. Hello, I'm calling about the ad I saw online for the opening in your sales department. Has the position been filled? No, it hasn't yet. We are still accepting applications online, and we plan to begin interviewing candidates here at our office next week. This position requires a bachelor's degree, but not necessarily in business. It also requires at least five years of sales experience and a list of professional and personal references, of course. I understand. May I ask, is the salary based solely on commission, or is there also a base salary? There is a base salary. Additionally, a commission is paid quarterly. You can get more details on other benefits at our website, including our medical insurance and vacation policies. Number 41. Why is the man calling the woman? Number 42. What will the company do next week? Number 43. What can the man find on the company website? Go on to the next page. Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. Taylor, do you have any ideas for the customer poll to be conducted online next month? We are supposed to talk today about what benefit will be given to the participants. Oh, I thought we were going to discuss what we asked them today. Sorry about the confusion. Anyway, do you have something in mind? We usually offer a 10% discount coupon to respondents. 
that only 20 people participated in the survey conducted last summer, so I think that is not effective anymore. That's a shame. And then what else? Um, I'd better see what our competitors do for it, so I'll visit their websites. Great. How about talking about both this afternoon? I will bring some survey questions. Number 44. What will happen next month? Number 45. Why does the man say, I thought we were going to discuss what we asked them today. Number 46. What will the man do next? Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. Hi, this is Mary from Employee Services calling. I am hoping to get some pages of space in the company newsletter for next month. Do you think that's possible? Of course. We were in the middle of looking for more pieces to fill the space. I was about to call around to see if anyone has any news or announcements they want in the newspaper. Anyway, what do you have in mind? Well, there are a couple of events that our office would like to highlight. The annual spring picnic and the five-kilometer run. Our department would also like to publicize the details of the new benefits. It sounds like you need a couple of pages in the next issue. Let's get together and talk about specifics and the layout. I have lunch at 12 and a meeting at 2, so how does 3 in the afternoon in my office sound? I want to get everything done by 5. Number 47. Who most likely is the man? Number 48. What does the woman ask the man to do? Number 49. What will the man do at 2 p.m.? Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. Hi, Kelly. Can I have a word with you? I've lost two clients in the last week, and I'm a little worried. It doesn't seem like I'll meet the sales quota this quarter. Hey, don't take it too seriously. To tell you the truth, my sales are way down too. I had three clients ready to sign a contract, and then all of a sudden they decided to take more time with certain reasons I still don't know. Things like that just happen when you're in sales. I know, but I have to talk about my performance with the general sales manager this Friday. I just hope he will be as considerate as you are. You know what? I had a meeting with the manager yesterday, and he actually told me that the company is releasing upgrades to our products next month, which will boost our sales. Number 50. What department do the speakers work in? Number 51. What will the man do on Friday? Number 52. According to the woman, what did the manager say? Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. Mr. Torres would like our team to cover the Golden Documentary Film Festival for next month's issue. Who wants to go and report on this event? It will be held in Green Bay this year, right? I am going to go there to interview some professional football players. The preseason games begin next month. I think it would be fine for me to report on both events. Great, Bobby. In addition, I want to feature an interview with the festival director, Sanchez Diaz. He was chosen as the recipient of Promising Young Director Award. I see. Hey, Martin, can you contact the festival organizer and set up the interview with the festival director? And please do some research on the film festival. Sure. I will contact the festival organizer and ask for some resources. Everything seems to be all said. We will discuss it in more detail this Friday. Number 53. What is the conversation mainly about?
Number 54. What is mentioned about Mr. Diaz? Number 55. What is Martin asked to do? Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation. Hi, Yamada. You are in charge of having the new brochure printed, right? We are going to mail them to our customers next Monday. Yes, I contacted Printing Express and uploaded the files on their website last week. The sample copies arrived this morning, and I found that some wrong photos were used and there were missing pages. So I called the printing shop to correct them. They will send our new brochure by next Monday, so you can mail them on time. I don't think that's going to work. The marketing department needs time to put them in the envelopes and affix the address labels on them. Can you ask the printing shop to deliver the brochures by Friday morning at the latest? Number 56. According to the woman, what task is the man doing? Number 57. What was the problem with the order? Number 58. What does the woman mean when she says, I don't think that's going to work? Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation. Hi, Christy. Have you seen Jeff? I've been trying to call him, but he's not answering my calls for some reason. Actually, Jeff's out of town attending the annual marketing conference in New York until next Monday, I think. Usually, people are asked to turn off their mobile phone when they're listening to a speech or attending a workshop. Why do you want to reach him? Well, I have a meeting with a new client who's interested in the marketing service that Jeff is in charge of. I wanted to introduce Jeff to the client. The client is flying to California this Thursday, so I don't think he'll be here when Jeff comes back. You know, Jeff and I are on the same team. Why don't I go with you? I'm sure I can be of help. Number 59. What are the speakers mainly discussing? Number 60. Why is the man trying to get in touch with Jeff? Number 61. What does the woman offer to do? Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation and content page. Hello, this is Rachel from Daniel Construction. I'm calling to confirm that I received all orders today, but I have a question about the invoice. Thanks for letting me know that. What is your question? I remember you said all shipping fees would be waived for any purchase over $5,000, but I found $30 was charged. There might be a mistake. I will send a corrected invoice as soon as possible. To show our apology, I will send a $20 gift certificate, which can be used at our stores. Oh, one more thing. I want to purchase travel kits for the laptop computers. I couldn't find information on the accessories page, though. Sorry for the inconvenience. You must have an old version of our brochure. They are listed on the bottom of the notebook computers page. Number 62. What is the purpose of the call? Number 63. What does the man offer? Number 64. Look at the graphic. What page will the woman refer to? Go on to the next page. Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation and control panel. Sarah, could you do me a favor? I am supposed to present our business plan to the potential investors this afternoon at 4 o'clock, so I need to photocopy this document in color. 
I tried a couple of times, but they were photocopied only in black and white. I checked the options on the control panel. What happened? I did it last week without any problem. Did you receive the memo from the technical department? In order to save some money on office supplies, all printers and photocopiers in the office are set to print only in black and white. If you want to print anything in color, you first have to select your name and type in your password, and then click the photocopy button and select color option. Really? I couldn't find my name in this machine. If so, push the round button on the right side of the control panel. You will see creating account on the screen. Number sixty-five. What is the man scheduled to do today? Number sixty-six. Why did the company policy change? Number sixty-seven. Look at the graphic. What button should the man push first? Questions sixty-eight through seventy refer to the following conversation and list. Emily, do you know how long it will take to get to Johnstown by train? It depends on what train we take. All trains to Johnstown stop at different stations, but the slowest one that I know of takes about two hours. I found this schedule on the internet. We can get specific travel information from this. Okay. We have a business lunch with Oliver Motion Pictures at Bruno Italian Restaurant at noon. We should be punctual. All trains arrive at Johnstown before noon, but the one departing at ten thirty arrives at eleven fifty. How far is the restaurant from the station? It is a ten-minute drive by taxi. It means we would definitely be late. Oh, I almost forgot. Miss Bailey from Greensburg Branch will join us and talk about some terms and conditions on the train. Number sixty-eight. Why will the speakers visit Johnstown? Number sixty-nine. What is the man concerned about? Number seventy. Look at the graphic. Which train do the speakers select? Part four. Directions. You will hear some talks given by a single speaker. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speaker says in each talk. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The talks will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions seventy-one through seventy-three refer to the following recorded message. Thanks for calling Western Renew, the number one dinner theater in town. We are open from 5 p.m. to midnight throughout the week, except on Tuesdays, which is the only day of the week that we're closed. This Saturday, we will be opening our spring theater season, featuring Cats on the Roof. You won't want to miss it. This entertaining musical will be a great way to enjoy your night out this coming weekend. You'll also enjoy our special menu, featuring signature dishes prepared by our executive chef. If you would like to reserve a table, please press one now. For other inquiries, please press zero to connect to one of our customer service representatives. Number seventy-one. What type of business has the listener reached? Number seventy-two. According to the speaker, on which day is Western Renew closed? Number seventy-three. Why would the listener press one? Questions seventy-four through seventy-six refer to the following announcement. Attention, all pie factory shoppers! Unfortunately, our freshly made pumpkin pies just went out of stock for today. Let me remind you that our pumpkin pie is one of our top-selling products. So it is often sold out around noon. As of now, we have some apple pies and a couple of our new cherry pies available for you to take home. 
the cherry pies are 20% off for the entire day. We will give you a slice of the pie of your choice with the purchase of one of our cherry pies. If you have never tried our amazing pies, you should come by and taste one. We are currently offering free samples at the counter. We just started our overnight delivery service this week, so if you are too busy to stop by our shop or you're ordering from another city, call us at 1-800-PIE-FACTORY and have our delicious homemade pies delivered to your doorstep. Number 74. Where is the announcement being made? Number 75. What are the listeners able to do at the counter? Number 76. According to the speaker, what new service is available for the listeners? Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. I gathered you all here today to discuss what seems to be a serious problem with our company's operations. Based on the previous feedback from clients, most of them indicated that we provide poor customer service. It seems mostly because our sales team is reaching out to too many clients at once. The problem is that they're not following through with sales, so some of our clients feel like they're not treated in a timely manner and end up going to our competitors. Going on like this is taking two steps forward and one step back. Once you sign a client to a contract, follow up with them to ensure satisfaction. Our company offers good services at great deals, so we should be able to keep our clients satisfied. Number 77. According to the speaker, what is the problem? Number 78. What does the speaker mean when she says, Going on like this is taking two steps forward and one step back. Number 79. What does the speaker say needs to be done to fix the problem? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following advertisement. This is the weekend to enjoy late summer at Sweet Steak and Seafood across from the Lighthouse. We are situated on White Beach where you can enjoy a scenic view of the quiet blue ocean. You can watch the waves crash just beyond the balcony while enjoying mouth-watering gourmet meals carefully prepared to your taste by our world-class chefs. We specialize in delicious prime steaks and charcoal grilled scallops freshly caught and prepared. We also have a spacious hall and small private rooms to accommodate any size of social gathering or event. Give us a call now at 555-0357 and make your reservation in advance. We'll offer you a free dessert if you mention this ad. Number 80. What is most likely being advertised? Number 81. What does the advertised business offer? Number 82. What can the listeners get when mentioning the advertisement? Go on to the next page. Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following talk. Hi everyone, thanks for coming to this workshop. As you all know, pretty much everything is going digital these days. You can't imagine yourself living a day without connecting to the internet. When was the last time you even left your house without your cell phone? And now with smartphones, they access email, internet, messenger services, SNS, everything you can think of. This means you have tons of opportunities to advertise your store and products online. In today's four sessions, we're going to teach you how to market your business more efficiently. The days of taking out an ad in newspapers are over. Before the first session begins, our first scheduled session leader, Selena Green, will be late due to a train delay. 
So she will move to the last spot. Number 83. Who most likely are the listeners? Number 84. Why does the speaker say, When was the last time you even left your house without your cell phone? Number 85. According to the speaker, what is said about Ms. Green? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following telephone message. Hello, this is Henry Alden. I am a customer service representative at Michigan Flooring Company. We received your email requesting a free price estimate for installing a new floor in your office. In order to offer you a more accurate estimate, one of our sales representatives will visit and measure your floor. He or she will help you select the most suitable material from our samples. We specialize in wood and tile flooring, but also offer carpeting upon request. All of our prices are very reasonable, and if you choose any of our floor materials, our professional team will install all your flooring at a minimal fee. All flooring work comes with a one year warranty. Please call us at 555 1212 to set up our visit to your office. Thank you. Number 86. Why is the speaker calling? Number 87. According to the speaker, what is available for free? Number 88. What is the listener asked to do? Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following announcement. Good evening, folks. And welcome to the show. It's about to start, so please turn off your cell phones if you haven't already. If you stick around after the show, you will have a chance to get your picture taken with the actors. At that time, you can even ask them for autographs. Remember, this show is a comedy, so feel free to laugh out loud when they do or say something funny. It always helps to bring more life into a small scale performance like this. Also, Don't forget to check our Theatre Group's website and leave a comment about tonight's performance. You'll be automatically entered in a drawing for a wide variety of prizes. And now, without further ado, is Wise Guys Group's Bizarre Family. Number 89. What are the listeners asked to do before the event starts? Number 90. What are the listeners able to do with actors? Number 91. Why does the speaker say, You'll be automatically entered in a drawing for a wide variety of prizes? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following talk. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Global Innovation Awards Banquet. Each year, we accept many nominations for the Best Idea Award from around the world. We present the award to an individual designer, a team, or an organization who has contributed their talents to improving people's daily lives. This year, the Best Idea Award will be presented to the Pure Water Union, who devised an innovative water collection system for communities in African countries that lack drinking water. They invented a system to collect rainwater and put it into practice across the continent of Africa, giving communities across the continent access to clean drinking water. I will now call James Winston, president of Pure Water Union, to the podium. He will share the vision of his organization and explain how the system works. We will also see how the system has changed the daily lives of Africans for the better. Number 92. What kind of event is being held? Number 93. What does the speaker say about the new system?
Number 94. What does the speaker say will happen next? Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following speech and chart. Good morning and welcome to our company's annual sports day. This event is intended to get to know the people in the other departments. As you all know, the teams were decided by the departments last month. Please be careful, we don't want anyone to get hurt out there. There has been a change to the initial schedule, though. Since the distribution team needs to return to work afterwards, their volleyball match will be held first after the picnic lunch. The first match will be soccer, marketing versus sales. Let's have fun today. Number 95. What most likely is the purpose of this event? Number 96. What is the speaker concerned about? Number 97. Look at the graphic. Which match will be played last? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following telephone message and table. Hi, Maria. It's Jessica from Accounting. I'm looking at the list of returned items during the first two weeks of August. I found one of the receipts is not attached to the list. As you are already aware, you are not allowed to accept the return request without a receipt or past 15 days from the original purchasing date. The list indicates that you refunded $39.99 to a customer on August 5th, but I can't find any receipt for it. If you omitted this document, Please submit it immediately. If you were authorized to do this refund process without a receipt from your supervisor, give me a call. Then I'll send a form that you need to fill out and get a signature from your supervisor. It will be the proof of why you accepted the refund request for the item without a receipt. Number 98. Why is the speaker calling? Number 99. Look at the graphic. Which returned item needs additional documentation? Number 100. What does the speaker say she can do? This is the end of the listening test.